everyone, welcome back to my channel, Low Carb Wishes Keto Dreams. My name is Heather, and this channel is dedicated to my weight loss journey utilizing the ketogenic diet. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> good vlog today, good vlog. Um, if you like those sort of what I eat in a day videos or cooking sort of stuff, um, please like my videos and subscribe and hit the bell. Bell on your side, it would be bell and then subscribe. Um, that way the mystical YouTube algorithms will recognize my videos and go, oh, people like her. Um, because I like it when people like me. You like me. Um, I'm one of those crazy people. It's like, people don't like me. I'm like, why don't they like me? Everybody likes me. What's wrong with them? Um, anyway. Yeah. So today is a beautiful Wednesday morning. I'm in the car again, so obviously it is a B-day. I have just dropped my daughter off school. I say obviously, it's not necessarily, but um, I just dropped my eldest daughter off for school. Um, she has I think, Spanish in our classes today, which is pretty freaking awesome. She does world history at home. And then, and then, um, she's world history at home, and then she does um, Spanish, and then she's got two art classes today. She is in an art program at her school. I am... <laughs> I think I just made a detour. I'm heading towards uh, Target. I thought I had a gift card. I'm pretty sure I had a gift card. But... There's always someone with a big butt in the way. Um, I didn't see it in my purse, so I may have just taken a minor detour on my way home. <laughs> so, I have good news, everyone! Um, my, I, you know, a couple weeks ago, I actually weighed myself, and I was like at 288, and I said back then that I was sort of holding my breath and really sort of not getting excited because that has happened to me so many times. You get to, you break a plateau or you get down lower than what you were. And the next day you weigh yourself again and you're right back up. You know, I, I've bounced around, like danced around 290 for the longest time. What time are they open? a.m. Okay. Um, they're open. Um, I've danced around like 290 for the longest time. I think baby's asleep. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Um, I'd be 293 and then, um, I'd weigh myself again a couple days later and I'd be back, you know, I'd be down and it'd be like 289 and I'm like, woo! You know, and then... Girl's asleep. Um, I'm gonna get her butt up. Um, and then I, you know, I'd weigh myself again a couple days later, and I'd be back up to like 292, 294, 296, and back down to 292, and then 283, or not three, 289, and then 288, and then back. Up. And it just, it's been so frustrating. I like never stayed below 290 for more than like a day. Like, like that would be it. And so a few days ago I weighed myself and I was down to like 286 and I was like, okay, that, that's like the lowest I've been. Usually it's like 288. Um, and so 
I tentatively got off the scale, put the scale away, and was like, all right, I'm not going to get excited because, yeah, because of all the reasons I just listed. And so I gave it a few days, and then I weighed myself again, and I was like, 289. I went, okay. Gave it another day. I weighed myself the next morning. 288. So I weighed myself yesterday and I was like 288 and change. I went, okay. And this morning I was 287.4, I think. So I have now stayed below 290 for like almost a week. So I, I'm, I'm still scared to get excited. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like, should I, should I, should I celebrate? Should, should this be like a happy dance? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it. Like, like I'm feeling it. Um, I kind of want to wait until I get down to like the lower 280s before I get too excited. Um, because I have been stuck in the 290s for like a year. Can, people talk about plateaus. That's a freaking plateau right there. Um, you know, I've been stuck at the same weight for a month. Suck it up, buttercup. Um, <laughs> I've been in the same five pound range for a year. Um, so I am, I am tentatively excited. Um, yeah, so... I'm gonna stick to the plan. Here's the pajama knolls. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, things will continue to slide down the scale. Um, I don't know. I don't think I have the. That's an old Navy gift card. That is not what I'm looking for. Not at all, maybe I'm at Target. Anyway, I'm gonna dig around, see if I can't find my card. If I can't find it, I'm gonna go home because I don't really have any other choice. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, we are back from Target. Um, Babby is down for a nap. And <clears throat> I just, I had a gift card for $15. Um, and as we all know, $15 does not go very far at Target. Um, but I got a couple things that I needed. Well, I got one thing that I needed. Um, the other day when Babby got sick in the car, we were on our way over to Kohl's because I have a gift card for them. Um, and I was going to get some new onesies for the Babby because she's outgrown all of our other ones. I have like 12 month ones and she's like, 19 months now. So, um, I got, I don't know why this one only has two little hangers on it. That doesn't make sense to me since there's three onesies with it. Um, this one is just like an orange stripey one. Thought was good for fall. Um, this one's a blue one with like little flowers and some feathers and then a, a solid blue one. Kind of matches my shirt. Not quite. Um, just a solid blue one. Um, but she needed some new onesies, so we got that. Back up a little bit and you can probably see the whole, whole onesie. And then just a, a blue one. Um, I did swing by, um, I wanted to get some quest bars, but they're like eight blocks of blocks. So I, I didn't, I didn't. Um, I did, however, get a couple of these, um, F-bombs. Um, these were convenient because the baby played with them the whole time. Um, but this one is just the MCT, the green one is just the MCT. And then the, um, the orange one's the salted macadamia nut. Um, I will probably put this one in my coffee one morning, but, um, I like having these on hand, like in my purse. Cause if I'm running around and I'm out and about and I start getting hungry or start, you know, kind of craving things. Um, I can break one of these guys open, you know, just sort of nom nom on it and I feel better. Um, and then I also got a Lily's, I think it's the salted almond. Yeah. The salted almond, 
milk chocolate chocolate um let's see that one's 21 total carbs but it's 11 fiber and six erythritol um which i think is about four four net carbs yeah um per serving for like half the bar and i don't eat that much i eat maybe the one like line of squares or like two or three squares you know so just something like at night if i'm really just dying for something that's a good little you know break off a square or two put this away and then you know have my cup of coffee with um with a, a piece of chocolate um so that's what i got at, at target um since we are home we need to the box over there bag bag not box um I am going to probably make an omelet. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to. I got some ground beef in the fridge. Probably just, uh, either that or a scramble. I don't know. Since we got eggs, we got 120 eggs from, from Sam's Club yesterday. So, a lot of eggs. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably going to do that. I'll show you that in just a, a little bit. All right, guys, so... This is my omelet. Um, it is a little bit, a few tablespoons really of, of like pre-made ground, hot <laughs> pre-made ground beef. Um, I just threw in the pan with a little bit of butter and then scrambled two eggs and you know, a handful of cheddar cheese. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. Um, I need to clean up my kitchen. Um, it is a disaster area and I have two things set aside to make, um, two cakes. I'm going to do another one of the pumpkin spiced cake. And I really liked that chocolate one I did this last time. So, um, this time, cause I got these guys, um, I'm going to do like a, a peanut butter swirl with chocolate on top that'll be pretty tasty so um yeah I'm gonna give those a try see how that works and I'll talk to you guys later hey guys so it is the next day I realized I didn't record anything yesterday evening um we really it was we were kind of busy it was supposed to be uh, youth group night and my daughter just had too much homework and she basically spent the whole night trying to to catch up with stuff um I think we ended up doing leftovers I honestly can't even remember what I fed my family um yeah I have no idea uh oh no I remember I did like a pasta thing for them they're they were um, I really didn't eat much. I was sort of in a baking mood last night, so I ended up making a, a couple of, like, the brownies again and, and like, the spice cake. Um, so I had, like, a nibble on those, and nibble, I had a couple pieces. <laughs> so, yeah, that was kind of my dinner. I don't think I had anything else. Um, yeah, I don't really think I ate dinner last night because I was expecting Autumn to go to youth group and usually I'm out running around. So I, I really, I didn't do much. I might have had a couple pieces of cheese. So um wasn't really hungry. So that was last night. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm about as organized as, as a, I don't know, an unorganized person. <laughs> so, oh, thank you. Y'all done with your bottle? Good job. And a binky. Nope. I need to put her hair up. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow. Um, it's closing out this video. Y'all have a good night and I will see you later.